something to someone well at least me would it have meant something to her so what did you do nothing much I must have done something nothing interesting Now you could ask me about my day. How was your day? Shit, actually. I went to this restaurant with my parents, and we waited for like two hours, and we still didn't get served. I mean, we got these drinks, but still. It's terrible. Yeah. So did you come here a lot? First time. Ah, uh, so you're a chapel virgin. <laughs> I suppose so. I come here a lot. Just the emptiness. It's amazing. And sometimes I sing. Do you sing? I'm more of an appreciator. So you don't sing in the shower? No, I mean, maybe when I was five. But... Excellent, so let's hear it. Sorry? Sing. It's liberating, I promise. No, no, I'd feel stupid. Are you saying I'm stupid? No, I, no, I mean, look, I'm sorry. Rachel. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm, I'm just not very good at... Talking? No. Look, you could at least pretend I'm someone interesting to talk to. You are interesting to talk to. Well, you do a pretty good job of pretending I'm not. What if I could make her understand? Why do you do this? I don't know. What? Are we protesting against something? You've got Are you a vegetarian? The first I just thought, if I lay here, in the street, it would feel artistic. Well, that's ridiculous. But I just feel frustrated. And I'm still staring at a blank page. So what have I achieved? Nothing. Yes. Are you a poet? Not really. A playwright? I don't know. Maybe I'm no one. Everyone who's young and switched on thinks of themselves as artistic. Maybe I should just wait this out. Wow, that's quite an existential crisis we're having there. Because when I make something, I feel alive, like I exist. But I can't create. So what does that make me? Look, Tom, I definitely don't claim to be an expert on any of this, but I really think you're overcomplicating things. I'm confiscating no, that. look, give it back. Just live, Tom, okay? You're always so worried about failure that you never actually try anything, so you never succeed. You're a pseudo-intellectual twat. A pseudo-intellectual what? You've never failed because you've never tried. You're so afraid of rejection that you detach yourself. Now go and talk to me. She won't be like you. She'll be disappointing. So, 